one of my friends, he's an older guy that, you know, we love him. We call him the doc father, he's an Italian guy. Loses his glasses in the water. Yep. I got a bunch of kids that come over and we just start talking, they just happen to come over and say hi. I said, you know what? I don't want to dive down there because I don't want to do that anymore. I just didn't right. feel like yeah, it. Yeah. It's about 12 feet deep. I'll give you 50 bucks if you can dive in the water and find Al's glasses. Guy goes, 50 bucks, you'll give me 50 <laughs> bucks? I said, yes. So he dives in the water, and I'm not kidding you. I, this was last year. He dives in the water, he goes underwater, he opens up his eyes, he comes up the first time because he's out of breath, right? Yeah. He's got to go 12 feet down. He says, I can't see them, it's really murky down there, and I'm really trying. I said, 50 bucks, 50 bucks. <laughs> he goes down again. Three times he goes down. He finds the glasses, and when he comes up, I give him the 50 bucks, his eyes are bloodshot red. Yep. I looked at him and I went, oh my God, what did I do? Did I send him down there? Why were his eyes bloodshot red? I'm thinking this water is contaminated. And that's what they call it. The water is yeah, yeah. contaminated. They don't want to tell you what's in it. I'm thinking, I shouldn't have asked him to do that. I'm telling everyone, don't jump in the lake here. That's right. You know, we got to do it in the middle of the lake where the water's cleaner. 